Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's sunny and bright today. When I let the dogs out, they all want to bite Ellie. So they're all waiting to see hides. It's these two that want to get her in trouble. They're like, bark, bark, I dare you to bark. But Ellie's pretty smart, she doesn't bark. Anyway, welcome back to today's video. Super bright out here. Oh no! One of our chickens got free and Kirby just tried to catch her. Good thing I saw that. She's the only one out of all of our dogs that actually will chase our animals. But she does really good. She listens when we tell her to stop. I feel sad for that little chicken though. Scary to chase my dog. Anyway, welcome back to today. Today's one day after my birthday and I wanted to tell you guys something. So all summer I did not eat a lot of sugar and I felt amazing. Do you guys remember me saying like how happy I felt and how good I felt? I didn't eat a lot of sugar and then the last couple of weeks, like probably the last month, I've fallen off the wagon. It's the only thing I do is eat sugar. Like it's the only, I don't drink coffee, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, I don't do anything other than eat some sugar. But my body hates me when I eat sugar. So anyways, this is my point. This is what I wanted to tell you guys. Now that my birthday's over and I had an amazing piece of carrot cake last night, I am going to give up sugar until Christmas. And I challenge you guys to do it with me. Like honestly, I really, really, really want you guys to do it with me, or at least some of you guys to do it with me. For anybody who's in America, you should do it like after Thanksgiving, after your Thanksgiving. But imagine if you, if we all gave up sugar for one month until Christmas day or Christmas Eve, we all give up sugar from American Thanksgiving till Christmas Eve, it would be like the best season. And you feel it different instantly. Like it's not like you give up sugar and then like a month later you start to feel better. It's like instant, the minute you stop eating sugar and I'm not talking fruit or vegetables I'm ta or even like some carbs. I'm talking like simple sugars, like all the treats and the candies and the pops and the anything that has sugar added to it. Not the natural sugars. You got You need some sugar in your body. But anyways, yeah, I want you guys to do it with me. It'll be my birthday present to me and it can be your Christmas present to you. But comment below if you'll do it with me. I'm super excited. I want somebody else to do it with me. I love sugar. It's my only vice and my body hates it. So come on, let's do it. No sugar from Thanksgiving until Christmas Eve. Last night Sam bought me a carrot cake and a ice cream cake. I didn't eat any of the ice cream cake and I had one piece of the carrot cake. And I know Sam's gonna wanna eat carrot cake even though I'm giving up sugar. So I cut three quarters of this cake and I put it in the freezer for me for on Christmas Eve. <laughs> how much I love carrot cake. Okay, so for anyone who is not up to date on the stall situation, recently we've had an issue with Storm breaking out of his stall. He's in the biggest stall that we have. It used to be Chino's. Chino loved that stall. I don't know why, but Storm broke out of it continually. We tried a lot of things to keep him in the stall. He kept breaking out. So we decided, as a last resort, we decided to switch the stalls. We ended up putting Lady in his stall and we put Storm in Lady's stall. This is Storm's new stall. It used to be that one, that's the one he kept breaking out of. This is his new stall, hasn't broke out of it yet. Everything was going great until this morning. Sam came outside and Lady broke, whoa. Lady broke out of her stall, you guys. She broke everything. She broke this huge board. She just broke it. I don't know if she like watched Storm do it so then she realized that she could do it but she destroyed the stall. I don't know what the heck is happening. I don't understand. I don't understand why the horses are breaking out of their stall. I better go get a treat because my horse is looking at me. See if she comes. Look at how fluffy she looks. Let's just stand here and see if she shows up. She's like, do you have the, do you have the goods, Laura? Do you have the goods? She's not coming in. So anyways, I don't know. Sam's gonna fix it tonight, but clearly they don't wanna be in stalls or I don't know what it is. Like there's a possibility that when the horses are outside all night, then they can eat at the round bale all night. And when they're in their stall at night, now because it's colder, they still get a lot of, they still get a lot of hay in their stall, but maybe they get to the point where they're, they've peed on some of their hay or they are running out of hay or I don't know. Sam said there was still a ton of hay in Lady's stall this morning when she broke free. Also update on a ladybug. Where were you laying in? Let me see your hair, you got a stick. Oh, come here. 
<laughs> you are the cutest thing. Theta ladybug is that um, at her last lesson, so if you had a last lesson, she had a bit of a rye tail going on. So I booked a treatment for her. Ellie, get over here. <laughs> and he's like, what about me, Laura? Anyway, I booked an appointment for her. I booked, so she's getting that this week, so she should be able to go back to lessons. I think what happened is that Sophie's been riding her on the road quite a lot. I'm just grateful that we have great chiropractors and massage therapists in our area that will come and work on her. Update on the weather. It is cold as heck out here. I mean, it is cold. But I wanted to give you guys an update on our little boy goat because <laughs> yesterday he knocked his horn off. It's only a nub. It's only like a skur. A skur is just like, it's not a full horn. He's already been dehormed, but he grew back a little tiny bit of his horn called a skur and he knocked one of them off. I put some a dressing on him to stabilize it. The dressing wasn't stabilizing, it was just pushing it back. It's probably just going to fall off. He doesn't have any bleeding and it only bled a little tiny bit to begin with. Wait, why are you guys all hanging out at the fence line? Somebody in heat? It's looking like somebody's in heat. It's looking like those babies are in heat. Anyway, so he's okay. We gave him some antibiotics yesterday. I'm gonna give him a little bit more antibiotics today. We also gave him a CD and T shot, which is like a, so it's like, it's like a tetanus shot. So anyway, everything's going good out here. Everybody's yeah. happy. Some are looking like they're in heat, which is annoying. Like, why can't they be like horses and stop going in the heat? We're actually, Sophie and I are actually in negotiations, the two of us together, trying to figure out what we want to do with Lady this winter. Like, she wants to ride her in an arena, and we haven't got to that point where we've gotten an arena yet. She doesn't want her to rest all winter, she wants to like keep her going. We have a lot of work to do before show season next year, so we're contemplating boarding her. But the problem is, is like, I could be like, yeah, sure, like, let's board her, that's no problem, but when I think about it, like my friend's like, she'll be fine. And she will be fine, but like, it's hard for me. Like it, I don't just say, oh yeah, she, I can't harden my heart against it. Like taking her away from her. Okay, so the biggest thing would be like, she'd have to get used to another set of horses. And that's a trigger for me. Like I've seen our horses move to new houses. It's so stressful. It is so stressful on them. Like so stressful. It's so hard on them. And then the second thing I think about is, okay, fine. She gets used to new horses and she adapts because they do eventually adapt. But uh, it, it just, it kills me to think like she has to go through all that stress. But then, but then I think about like, we have our horses here and like, she's just not here with her family. And every time I go out there, I won't see her. Like, I just feel like, I don't know. I'm so emotional about it. Like. But realistically, Sophie needs to be able to ride her horse in the winter. So I don't know. I'm excited about it. I'm excited if we go to like board again. So if you can go back to having like a couple of lessons a week or maybe three lessons a week and that would be fun. I'm so confused. On paper, I could just do it. Yeah, like that's the best decision ever. Like, let's just do it. But in my heart, it just makes me sad to like put her someplace new and then I don't know, it just makes me sad. All right guys, I'm here in an attempt, Gabby and I are gonna attempt to fix this stall that lady broke through. I don't know what she did. She pulled the board off the wall. Yeah, the whole board is off the wall. <laughs> the whole board's off the wall. She broke the piece of wood and she knocked that off. And over here, when Storm did it, I replaced that one with a long screw and now this one is off. Now I gotta re replace that with a long screw too. So try and get this fixed and we'll see how we can, I don't know how we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So we have to find another piece of wood to replace that broken piece of wood. All right, let's see if we fix it. Open her up, see what happens. What? Oh, we can't open it. A little bit too high. All right, we gotta fix the end here. All right, fix the end. All right, take two. <laughs> I, have to, I have to fix it, I have to replace it. I'm scared. You're scared? I'm gonna replace a bunch of boards here. What are you doing? You're breaking it? I'm not doing anything. It's breaking something? Something's cracking. 
I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's gonna be like that for now. It's fixed for now until she destroys it again. It's temporary for now. I mean, I gotta... I wouldn't put her back in there. Yeah, that's where she's going. Hey, my gloves. So, you want them? Well, they're mine. They're my gloves. I, I got them for... Yeah, we get all the green Gabby has this weird feeling like if she steals something, it means it becomes hers. Look at that, like she pooped up there. <laughs> Did you show them that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, how you can tell you have a draft size horse? <laughs> she poops on the wall up. <laughs> so you bought them for me for Christmas, but Gabby loves like five them. Five years ago. And we all got some. No, these are the only ones that Hay doesn't like stay stuck to them. So I'm the kind of mom that if she steals it from me, it means that she really wants them because they don't fit though. They're too big. So I let her have them. I have like a ton of pairs of mitts that I like and she's really picky. She only likes these kinds. I have a theory that her and Storm get fighting in the stall. No, I've, no. Yeah, I think I'm what it is is because we spoiled them all summer by letting them out. Yeah, to eat hay all night. I said that before. Yeah. And I don't know. I think it's that they her. They weren't eating hay all night because they down. were, I don't know. The gates are closed so they weren't eating grass all night. They were eating hay all night. I know. I don't know. Spoiled. They don't want to sit in their stall. I don't know. I say we put, I say we put Storm in the last one, <laughs> and put a mini in this one, and then separate them and see what happens because she's gonna get hurt. I don't want her getting hurt. Come on, Kirby. Come on, you get in here with your dad. Come on, Kirby. Get in there. Anyway, I don't know why he can't catch it on the camera. It's a mystery. That's all I know. Listen. listen. That's Winston. Is that funny? I can tell my goat sounds. But the, they, everybody wants to go in now. Did you take my bucket of water? Yeah. All right, everybody's getting fresh water. Are looking beautiful. Look at how mature he looks. Look at that. Are you my girl, Ray? Uh oh. Which one is my girl? Yes, I'm getting you fresh water. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the one that has the cold. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my goodness. I just love you. So she's got like the lighter head. Don't you know?